What's up guys? We get zero views here. My name is Talos and welcome back to another episode. The I'm I'm gonna say the we're, we're at the tail game. We're at the end game guys. We're at the end game, but not quite there. There's always like prep work for the end game. But yes, we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet. Yes, in the previous episode we did go ahead and battle off Arvin. And I thought we can actually go ahead and continue with the Arvin missions. But it might be locked. It might be locked because we technically still have one more thing to do, and that's the Caspia stuff. Um, because um, I was looking through the um, the guide a little bit to see kind of like well, where the hell is Arvin, and I couldn't find him. So I'm thinking that we have to probably finish off this mission first, and then unlocks the gr the Great Crater. Because the Great Crater is of course the end game, the ultimate end game, I guess. I thought it'd be the Team Star stuff, but I was wrong. I was very much wrong in that endeavor. But, and it also kind of helps too because I, I can kind of rest my voice a little bit because doing the ordered voices do hurt, especially, especially after doing that for a long time. But yeah, we're, we're going to go here and set, set, set this as our destination. For some reason, I can't talk correctly today and I apologize for that. But yes, we, that is our destination and we're just going back to school. Yeah, so let's fly there. Okay, they're telling me to go to the schoolyard, but it needs to be at night, but... Of course, wait, okay. I was gonna say for a second, it's not even at night because like, like I know this game is like based on real time. So if it's at night in real life, it's at night in the game, but I guess it got triggered, which is great. Cause I really don't want to wait an entire eight hours to wait for nighttime in real life. But yes, Cassiopeia. And obviously from the freaking, 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 freaking like uh, Eevee tail right there. We know exactly who this person is. Caspia, AKA Pennywise, AKA the coolest Eevee bag ever. Sophia. Thanks for coming. It's like Dark Vader. <laughs> Look at my face. An evil face now, all, all of a sudden. <laughs> this must be quite a shock for you. Not really, I kind of knew. I kind of knew. The big boss, Caspia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make your work, oh wait. When I saw you make quick work of those team star lackeys outside school that time, that one fateful time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want. So I decided to use that to tempt you. So you, you use bribery. I get it. At the operation started, I kept a close eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had to battle the bosses in my behalf because I suck. But I, I'm actually kind of decent. All of my goals for defeating me and putting an end to the Team Star once and for all. But still. There's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I just can't roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is my final showdown. Are you ready? Are you ready? I said, are you ready? I'm ready. Got that Triple H right there. Um, anyway, thanks. Hey, hey, it's Clav. It's Clav. Sorry to keep you. The letter of the apology missed time had me. Uh, I mean, the preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So it was you I... Oh, no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh, I have tasked for you, Clive, if you accept it. I want you to record exactly what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Oh, okay, will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny Wise. Now, bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Oh, 
All right, let's do this. Umbreon, okay. Are you like an Eevee Pokemon trainer? That'd be kind of cool. I want hold back's battle. I'll stay true to the Team Stars code of ethics. Six, that's pretty high. <laughs> okay, I gotta be careful with uh, with her. She, she, her first Pokemon is like already strong, so gotta imagine the, the other one, later ones. All right, Umbreon not doing well there. Um, anything good against Umbreon? Lambo, Umbreon Lambo. Damn, getting hype, getting hyped. <laughs> Baby doll. Hell yeah. Man, I, I, I see like it is in, in a rave or something. <laughs> Flare okay yeah she's a she's an Eevee trainer. That makes perfect sense. Alright, switch. Do I have any water Pokemon? I don't think I do. I mean grass will work as well. Uh, Scythe. Come on, Scythe. Oh no wait, damn it! Flareon, right? Crap! God damn it! Uh, why? That's okay. Stand by. I'm being an idiot right now. Um, Trent, bring out Trent Knight because uh, he is going to lose horribly. This music is so hype. This is like my favorite track of all time. All right. You would think Ice would work against Fire. That's interesting. All right, Dragon Rush. Attack fell. That's not good. No, I missed. God damn it! That's the one thing that sucks about Dragon Rush. The accuracy is so low on it. Nice. Even with the freaking baby doll eyes, uh, I'm still a lot of damage. Yes! Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, here we go. Okay, now I can bring out Scythe. <laughs> now I can bring out Scythe. Damn, I love this song so much. This is like a good workout music too. Work out my abdomen while I'm like in battle. All right. What? Well, I'm surprised that's not super effective. I mean, it's decent. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. I thought about sword dance, but it's fine. Okay, good. Good. Thank goodness. Jolteon, okay, uh... Uh... Lambo? Yeah. Alright, uh... Close combat. Why you went first? Why you? I mean, it would make sense. You are pretty fast, but not strong enough to withstand my close combat. All right, Leafeon. Okay, fire. Yeah, we're bringing our boy Fierce. Bring on the boy, the big boy.
Is this his last one? No, you got one more after this. What's gonna, what's gonna be your last one? Is it straight out Eevee or is it gonna be a different evolution? Um, flamethrower is fine. Quick attack. <laughs> oh, Sylveon. Was that Psychic? No, it was Fairy. It was Fairy. What's good against Fairy? What is good against Fairy? I mean, we haven't seen Happy in a while. Let's just bring a Happy. Let's go bring on Happy. I think I think it's it's, it's a ghost types maybe, or psychic maybe. I don't know. I can't fault you for your bastards at all. No wonder the boss fell at, at, at your knees, to your knees or to their knees. All right, trust the lies. Okay, we, we haven't seen we haven't seen um, um, happy trust lies at all. So we're just going for it. Oh yeah, get that nice, like, diamond ring in, 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 on, on the head. Time to trust the last. Shine as bright like a diamond. I mean, a shiny sky and become who you really are. Oh, that's cute with a little heart. Double edge! Oh wow, that is... Why is freaking Happy so weak? Oh my god. Last resort... Wait, this move is, 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 can only be used at, when you use all other moves in the nose in battle. Alright, that's fine. Is that like a... An explosion of some sort? I don't know. What happened? Healing wind should... Wait, the user faints. They return. Oh. I didn't read. I didn't read. It says healing wish makes me think like I can use that move to heal myself. Wow. Wow. But it does say it does say that I can actually make this guy full HP. I'm so stupid. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Um, Sylveon. Okay. According to this, uh, it's not. So ghost types are not good either, or psychic moves. Damn. Okay. Got. I, I was thinking about bringing out Lambo, but I don't want to bring him out because he's not super. Well, you know what? Just because of the freaking, the freaking healing wish, whatever. Bring out Lambo so that we can do like something, I guess. Because um, I don't really need a HP boost. For uh, for for fierce. All right, the rash is not gonna be effective, so let's do Zen Headbutt. Ooh, not super great either, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing, and I'm also faster. And you flinch! Okay. It actually might be the slowest end to a battle, but... Eventual end? Cute charm. Oh no! I fell in love! My Wee Wee power will crush you in this stardust. Wee Wee? And <laughs> my Wee Wee. <laughs> Moonblast! Oh no, that, that sounds deadly. Damn it. Oh no. Not good. Not good. Alright, Charizard, let's finish this. Fierce. 
Let's fierce it up. Alright, flamethrower! Finish it! Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, level 70 fierce. Goddamn, he's so angry. It's all over now. It's a lot of money too. Give me your money. It's finally over guys. It's done. Some backstory here. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up! Are you saying we should break the team up? Break, break up the band? Yeah, I'd be joking. You're joking. You're joking. You're out of your mind. We got carried away with the Operation Star. Now everything's getting out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round out a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a showing of learning of this matters. But we're we didn't fight him in the end. We didn't do anything wrong! Indeed. Merely that we had declared our intention to battle to Venage the villains proceed in their treacherous obsession. Oppression. Uh, twist the. Uh, uh, tw <laughs> I can't speak right now. Twist a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah! They didn't even set up their Pokemon, they just babbled and paused a whole lot. Our office must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired ep epically. There's no way we're getting off of scot free. Yeah, I guess you're right. This little stun must have put up uh, the creek. I'll fix this mess up my end. Just leave it to me. What are we saying? I'm the one to start Team Star. I drag you into all of this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, kind and uh, noble big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should just start going to school again. Oh yeah? But what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to just shut yourself out in your room anymore, right? All I can say is for you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we're never gonna speak again? We need to go take care of some other things. Pretty, speak to us. What is thy intent? <sighs> hey, big boss, answer us. Aw. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. I mean, the, the, the original intent was to stop the bullies, but they became the bullies themselves. So I, I kind of get it. Thank you for everything, Sophia. And you too, Clive. Even though you look like a highly like the director. I'm glad I can see this through the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we're done once before. They still didn't quit. This, why simply order them to? Our code states that no one in a team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to do all this stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to code again. Uh, so it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I had to use force uh, to, to uh, that's why I had to use the force to team star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code requires of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenges made to them. Thus the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does team star know? What does your friends in team mean to you? They're, they're my greatest treasure. 
Oh. Splendid. Thank you for appraising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? What? Now, young lady, there's something I should be very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit with the old geezer act, Clive. You creep me out. Indeed. Well, I am old geezer. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal my true secret identity. Ha ha ha. To the director Cl Cavell? Just as Cassipia was your disguise, the <laughs> It was like so obvious. Like, people don't don't see this. <laughs> but then then again, I I played like an idiot too. <laughs> the boy you knew was Clive was mine. But but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. So I de-aged myself. Uh, students do tend to shy away from speaking their mind to teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. G yeah, but where did it even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I had some big feelings with that wig. <laughs> well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Oh boy, here it is, a reunion. The reunion. The reunion. Yo, big boss. Long tab, no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Very, very, there's a long hidden uh, countenance inside of sore eyes, my lady. Articus. So I uh, heard your real name's Penny. Have you been this whole long, no time? How'd you been this whole time? Artie. We found you at last. You had no idea how worried we've been. Aaron. Okay, gang. On a count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista. Casa Pia. And hello, Penny. V star, yeah, not Vista, but you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you, young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my serious apologies. C -c -c Come again. As director of the Academy, I let you down. And my handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I, I just don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your sequential actions. Ever since my first day as director, all ever experienced on the Academy is the environment blessedly free from bullying. But now I see this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage putting things to right. And so, I guess it's to the conclusion. The Academy orders for Team Star to ban and my threat to expel those who did not disobey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo! Penny, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, heart mine as Gili would agree. Gi, see she, but but. I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Cavell told us all about it. Far as we heard, we only went through it with to save us from exp being gang expelled. You're just worried about us, right? Not like we ever uh, chucked the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to uh, imagine how you must uh, fear from us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. Even so. Hold on everyone, I have more to say. As previously stated, the, uh, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You, pro you protracted trucity? You blazed customization of school uniform? You unauthorized uses of un uh, academy equipment? Your reckless modification and jeopardizing driving of Pokemon uh, powered vehicles need to go on. Your 
fragrant disregard for school rules simply cannot be overlooked. <laughs> what is going on? Thus, as punishment, you all be required to engage in community service. <laughs> community service? Yes! Specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. There should be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to fund and find out uh, them in co um, cooperation with the Pokemon League. Daddy came to me when I see Miss Sophia battling her way through your bases. The base construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue to your team activities and henceforth at STC staff members using your former bases as train facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Uh, no. It's not like fun. So, I don't see how this is be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, but since STCs are supposed to be punishment and all, but you should totally join it in too, Miss Penny. This is true. We would be much happier to have you on our side, my lady. You can go into school together too. That way, when things happen, we'll all be able to protect you. Yeah, we already talked about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? Guys... Sophia, what do you think? Nah, I'm just kidding. I think it sounds great. Give it your best? Yeah, I just said give it your best. Huh, but, but, um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. But for now, at least, I think our little group should go as separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break the team star after all. Silly means it's time to just go home. It's a night and sleepy time. Miss Sophia, please stop by my office later if you would. Alright, definitely a longer episode, but we're gonna go ahead and, and do this real quick. Where do you wanna go? Director's office. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, here you are, Miss Sophia. I want to thank you for your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If it's not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice of, in my choice of punishment for those actions. You have my sincere and gratitude. Knock, knock, knock. Oh boy. Oh boy. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. H Hello, Director. About the STCs. I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Wonderful. Thank you very much for your uh, favorable response. But, um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be? Um, you know, the LPI gave you both an exchange- <laughs> Oh, yeah. In exchange for helping me in the Operation Starfall. I kind of got a hold of it sort of illegally by hacking into the Pokemon League LP management system. Ah, I see. That is quite the revelation. <laughs> I, do, I do not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that. I mean, I'm really sorry. I won't do it again. Um, this matter is rather out of jurisdiction, I'm afraid. We'll have to consult Miss Greta, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how to proceed. I'll figure as much. I do apologize, Miss Sophia, but we'll have to ask you to give us some privacy. I guess we'll never know about that conclusion. All right, wow, okay. Um, I'm not, I, is that how it ends? I guess? Yeah? I guess so. But anyway, that pretty much includes this episode. Thank you guys so much for the view. Um, but uh, yeah, love you guys so much. And we're here guys. Th this is literally endgame now. I, I mentioned this multiple times in the video, but I think this is endgame right now. I'm not sure if the next part will be the last part, but again, thank you guys so much for the journey. It's been a, an amazing journey. Finishing off this game with you guys has been a blast, a, a pleasure even. Um, and of course, I can't wait for the next series. It's probably or technically already started, maybe. But, love you guys so much. Again, again, 
Thank you guys so much for the view, and I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. This is Pokemon Scarlet, and I'll definitely see you next time. Peace.